do we need an upgraded top mount intercooler? That is the question. So right now, I just got off the highway. I uh, did a little bit of freeway driving and it's 93 ambient. So the intake air temperature is roughly Twenty-five degrees hotter than the ambient. Now on cooler days it does a better job and uh, to give you an idea you, the other day it was 85 and the intake air temperature stayed a consistent 95 to 99 so it was with, within uh, 10 to 15 de degrees. But on the hotter days, you know, it doesn't do as good of a job keeping the temperature down. So my question is, do we need a top mount intercooler, a larger top mount intercooler? And if so, how much would it help keep those intake air temperatures down? Because right now, you know, um, the car, the performance struggles a bit when it comes to driving when it's 100, you know, 100, 120 degrees for the intake air temperature. Would a top mount intercooler bring the intake air temperature equal with the ambient? Or would it not make a difference at all? That That's what I'm curious for. You know, they've got a, um, they've got a top mount right now from ETS. I think it's 895. You know, how much would that bring down the air temperature for a day like this? You know, it's it's 94. We're we're in the south. Um, as a, a lot of you in the south know, it, it's going to be like this for many months to come. It doesn't start really cooling down towards until October. Um, so we still got a while before um, the weather starts getting better. And even then, we still have um, you know a handful of hot days. So. I'm curious to see if that would be a worthy investment and I'd like to see the dimensions difference between the ETS and the stock top mount. Uh, something I'm very curious about. If anybody knows, you know, please let me know in the comment section and uh, Extreme Turbo Systems, if you're out there listening, you know, I'd love to do an install and review for your system.